News Briefs. During the month of December, the City of West Hollywood and the West Hollywood Sheriff's Station once again partnered up for the 28th Annual West Hollywood Toy and Food Drive, which has helped provide more than 7,000 families with food and gifts. While they will be accepting unwrapped toys, let's be clear, that does not include your boy toy. We don't care that you no longer want him because he turned 30. We don't want him either. On December 4th, the City of West Hollywood launched the Sunset Experience, which aims to make Sunset Boulevard more pedestrian-friendly and engaging for the community. Think of it as our version of Times Square, but without all the aggressive Muppet arrests. Oh, Elmo, Mr. Hooper must be rolling in his grave. The Advocacy Training Project hosted a social media for advocacy workshop on December 9th which informed attendees on how to use social media tools such as Twitter and Facebook to promote important causes. <laughs> and speaking of social media, hey Tumblr, you're dead to me. Oh, you know what you did. On December 12th, members of West Hollywood City Council and Public Safety Commission, the Los Angeles Sheriff's and LA County Fire Departments, and Block by Block Security Ambassadors visited local establishments to hand out Don't Drink and Drive educational materials on the dangers of driving under the influence. You hear that, Santa? <laughs> now I know why your cheeks are like roses and your nose like a cherry. Puppet Theatre on Wheels presented English and Russian performances of The New Adventures of Goldilocks and The Three Bears on December 16th. If you miss these shows but still want to see a bunch of bears, might I suggest Fault Line. Oh, that beer buzz looks sweaty, so I better shimmy out of these news briefs. <laughs>